Hello! In this video review we're going to take a look at the Ultramax copy remote. We're going to demonstrate to you its unique features, its functions and an in-depth setup procedure. If you do not wish to watch the entire video presentation, you can always skip to the required part by pressing the corresponding section on the progress bar at the bottom of the video. You can always navigate between the sections of the video by using the list of contents in the description. Now let's get down to it. What is the Ultramax copy remote and what makes it stand out? First thing to point out is that it is a multi-frequency remote, which means that it can receive and generate radio signals at 315, 433, 434 and 868 MHz. This remote can emulate the original remotes of 32 different systems. In this mode it will be paired with the receiver just like the original remotes. It can also copy 38 different security systems directly from the original remote. This can be done outside of range of the receiver, without the need to pair the copy with the receiver. And finally, each button of the Ultramax copy remote can be programmed to copy or emulate any given system at any of the frequencies. And this is not all. We're going to speak about other unique features in detail later in the video. Per default settings, the buttons on the Ultramax copy remote are programmed to emulate the following systems. Button A – Door Hand Transmitter Button B – Allotech AT4N Button C – Nice Flores And Button D – FAC SLH 433 MHz It means that out of the box, the buttons of the Ultramax copy remote are the analog of the above-mentioned systems. So, you can pair the Ultramax remote with the corresponding automation just like the original remote without any additional setup. To reset the copy remote to the default settings, simultaneously press and hold buttons A, B and D for 5 seconds until the copy remote emits a long flash. Release the buttons to complete the reset procedure. The remote comes with the instruction manual. Inside you'll find table 2, which is used to set up the remote. We're going to take a closer look at this table to learn how to use it. The first two columns in the table, marked Number and System, show the name of the systems and the place of those systems on the list. In the Emulation column, you'll see plus signs next to some systems. It means that the Ultramax copy remote buttons can be programmed to emulate these systems. These buttons will function as the analogs of such systems. The next column, marked Copying, lists different compatibility modes for each system. In some cases the copy remote will only have one compatibility mode, while in others you will be able to select between different modes to facilitate copying. And lastly, the Special Button column. For each system marked with the plus sign, the Ultramax copy remote will generate a system code which is required for pairing with the automation equipment or for copying from the original remote. Now let's see how to program each button of the Ultramax copy remote to emulate different systems. The general setup procedure is as follows. Simultaneously press and hold buttons A, C and D until the flash. Release the buttons. The copy remote is now in programming mode. Next, press and hold the button you wish to program to emulate one of the supported systems. Now you will need the instructional manual. Open Table 2 and choose one of the 32 systems marked with the plus sign in the Emulation column. For example, you need another door hand remote. First, you'll need to know the number of that system on the list in the table. It's 12. Now let's go back to the programming. Continue to hold down the required button on the copy remote and press any remaining button 12 times. The remote will emit a flash every time you press the button. Release all the buttons. Now, the button you programmed emulates the door hand system. This button can be now paired with the automation equipment by pressing the program button on the receiver, just like you would pair the original door hand remote. Now, let's try programming another button. But this time, instead of the door hand system, we'll try to emulate CAMA top system, 868 MHz. Start by consulting table 2 again. Kame Top is the sixth on the list. Simultaneously press and hold buttons A, C and D until the flash. Press and hold the button you wish to program. 
Now press any other remaining button six times. Release all the buttons. The button you just programmed now emulates CAMA Top Series remote operating at 868 MHz. Now button B on the Ultramax copy remote can be paired with the CAMA Top receiver. The Ultramax copy remote can now emulate two different systems, so you have one remote which can operate two different automation equipment. However, there are situations when you do not have physical access to the automation control panel. In this case, the Ultramax remote can work in the copying mode. You can copy to different buttons outside of range of the receiver. All you need is the remote you wish to copy. If you look at table 2 again, you'll see that the Ultramax copy remote can copy all of the 38 systems listed in the table. Copying to the Ultramax copy remote is simple. On the Ultramax copy remote, simultaneously press and hold buttons B, C and D until the flash. This will switch the remote to the copying mode. Release the buttons. Now press and hold the button to which you want to copy the signal from the original remote. Continue to hold down the same button. Place the Ultramax copy remote face to face with the remote you wish to copy. Then press and hold the button on the original remote for 2 to 3 seconds. The long flash on the Ultramax copy remote will confirm successful copying. After the signal has been copied, release all the buttons. Now try activating the automation equipment with the help of the copy. The copying was successful. However, if you look at Table 2, you'll see that for some systems like Elutech, BFT, Dorhan, Elmes, FACRC, Genius Echo, Herman Echo Star, Iron Logic, Nice Flores, and Nice Milo, there are several compatibility modes listed in the copying column. Okay, but what is the purpose of these compatibility modes, and how do you switch between them? These compatibility modes are needed to allow the copies to work with different control panels. The above-mentioned security brands have a wide range of automation equipment produced in different years. With each new upgrade, the electronics inside, specifically the control panels, also changed. So now there are many different control panels of the same brand. As a result, in some cases the Ultramax copy will not work right away. It is specifically for such situations that these compatibility modes exist. Each button of the Ultramax copy remote can be individually set up to a specific compatibility mode. For example, even if you copy different activation buttons from the same original Dorhan remote to different buttons on the Ultramax remote, and these buttons control different automation equipment, each button of the Ultramax copy can be individually set up to specific compatibility mode. Now, how do you switch between the compatibility modes? Simultaneously press and hold buttons B and D. After 2 seconds, the remote will emit a short flash. Release the buttons. Press and hold the required button. The light indicator on the remote will show the current compatibility mode of that button. Continue to hold down the same button. After 5 seconds, the Ultramax will begin to cycle through the available compatibility modes. It will switch to the next available compatibility mode every 2 seconds. This will be indicated by the number of flashes, which correspond to the list of modes given in the copying column of Table 2. However, for specific systems, namely Dorhan, FACRC, Genius Echo, BFT, FACSLH and Genius Kilo, there are individual requirements to the copying procedure, which must be followed to create a working copy. First, let's take a closer look at the copying procedure for Dorhan, FACRC and Genius Echo. These original remotes are copied without any issues. Let's try copying one of these remotes, for example, Genius Echo.
After copying the signal from any of the above mentioned remotes to the Ultramax, the copy will not work right away. Now, if you look at the copying column of table 2, next to these systems you'll see lists of compatibility modes. And for each system, the first one on the list is the auto pairing mode. What is auto pairing? It means that the button on the Ultramax remote, to which you copied the signal from one of these remotes, can pair with the automation receiver on its own. And it will work without interfering with the original remote from which the copy was made. However, auto pairing is only possible if the remote pairing function has been enabled on the receiver and the receiver has available memory. Now let's see what it looks like in real life. Within the range of the receiver, press and hold the button on the Ultramax to which you copied the signal for about 10 seconds, until the light indication disappears. The Ultramax remote will generate the code of the original remote to try to pair itself with the automation control panel. If auto pairing is successful, after the light indication disappears, the Ultramax copy will activate the automation equipment. Please note that the original remote may stop working after that. Simply press the activation button on the original remote three or four times and it will start working again. The auto pairing feature is only available for copies of Dorhan, FacRC and Genius Echo. If auto pairing does not work, you'll need to switch the copy to the next compatibility mode per the copying column of table 2. Now let's see how to copy door hand signal to the Ultramax copy remote. There are six available compatibility modes for door hand copies. We have already covered the auto pairing mode. Let's see what happens if it doesn't work. Switch the copy to the next compatibility mode. The second compatibility mode is the so-called chaser mode. In this mode, the Ultramax copy is guaranteed to work with all door hand automation equipment. However, in this mode, the copy will interfere with the original remote. For example, if you use the copy four times, it will be four activations ahead of the original remote. The original will need to be activated four times to catch up with the copy. So, you will need to press the activation button on the original remote five times to make it work. The formula is the same number of activations as on the other remote plus one activation. Now the original remote is one activation ahead of the copy and the copy is falling behind. So if you press the activation button on the original remote n number of times now, you'll need to press the activation button on the copy n plus one number of times. So the remotes are chasing each other. We recommend using the chaser mode only if the original remote is in bad condition or you're not planning on using it or if no other compatibility mode works. So the chaser mode is not ideal, and if it does not satisfy your needs, you can switch your copy to the next compatibility mode. Continue to cycle through all the available compatibility modes until you find the one that works. Remember to check each compatibility mode by trying to activate the automation equipment several times. Only after making sure it does not work should you proceed to the next compatibility mode. Also, bear in mind that unlike the original remote, there will always be a delay in activation of 3 to 4 seconds. If the current compatibility mode does not work, switch to the next one, and so on. Don't change the compatibility modes after you have found the one that works. Otherwise, both the copy and the original remote may stop working altogether. To learn which mode is compatible with which control board, see the copying column of table 2. Now let's take a closer look at the individual requirements to copying original BFT, FACSLH and Genius Kilo signals. The copying procedure for BFT differs from the one explained earlier. To copy BFT, simultaneously press and hold buttons B, C and D on the Ultramax remote. After two seconds, the remote will emit a short flash. Release the buttons. Press and hold the button to which you wish to copy the activation button of the original BFT remote. Continue to hold the button and place the remote face-to-face -face with the BFT remote. Simultaneously press and hold buttons 1 and 2 on the BFT remote for 2 to 3 seconds or the secret button on older models. 
hold these buttons until the Ultramax starts emitting three flashes every second. Release the buttons on the BFT remote and then immediately press and hold the button you wish to copy for two seconds. The copying is successful if the remote emits a two-second flash. One button of the BFT remote has been copied to the Ultramax. To copy the remaining buttons of the original BFT remote, simply repeat the same steps. Copying procedure for FAC SLH and Genius Kilo will be the same for both systems. Simultaneously press and hold B, C and D. After two seconds, the Ultramax remote will emit a short flash. Release the buttons. Press and hold the button on the Ultramax remote to which you wish to copy the activation button of the original remote. Continue to hold the button and place the remote face-to-face -face with the original FAC SLH or Genius Killer remote. Simultaneously press and hold buttons 1 and 2 until the original remote starts flashing. Please note the position of the buttons on the original remote. The buttons are marked with these dots. After the original FAC SLH or Genius Killer remote starts flashing, release its buttons. Then immediately press and hold the button you wish to copy until the Ultramax remote starts emitting three flashes every second. Release the buttons on the FAC SLH or Genius Kilo remote. Then immediately press the button you wish to copy one more time for two seconds. The copying is successful if the Ultramax remote emits a two-second flash. One button of the original FAC SLH or Genius Killer remote has been copied to the Ultramax remote. If needed, repeat the same steps to copy the remaining buttons of the original remote. That's about it. In the course of the video, you learned about the Ultramax setup procedure, its functions, and different individual requirements when copying certain systems. You also saw a brief hands-on demonstration of its capabilities, where we checked it on different original equipment. Please visit our website or contact our sales department to place an order. Also, don't forget to like us, subscribe to our channel, and recommend our products to your clients and friends. Thank you for watching.